The curtain represented Jesus himself. So come with me to Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 19. Actually, let's back up for a second. Come back to Hebrews 9 and look at verse 11. But when Christ came as high priest of the good things that are now already here, he went through the greater and more perfect tabernacle that is not made with human hands. That is to say, is not a part of this creation. So Jesus goes to the heavenly tabernacle. Verse 12, he did not enter by means of the blood of goats and calves, but he entered the most holy place. He entered into heaven, into the most holy place, once for all by his, what? His own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. So now come to chapter 10, verse 19. Let me show you something very interesting about this curtain. Chapter 10, verse 19. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we, as believers, we have confidence to enter where? The most holy place. So that, that's into heaven, into God's very presence. We have confidence to enter the most holy place. And how, why is it that we can go into the presence of God? By the, by the blood of Jesus. Before that, uh-uh. Curtain closed. Verse 20, by a new and living way opened for us through the what? Through the what? Through the curtain. That is what? What does the curtain symbolize? His body. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart. So, that curtain actually represents the body of Christ. It represents Christ. So let me go back here and explain to you that, first of all, Christ is the mediator between man and God. So Christ is the only one that can connect to men. Women on the one side of the curtain, but is also in the presence of God on the other side of the curtain. The curtain, you remember, we're told that the curtain was made of blue, purple, and scarlet. So for those that, you know, study color significance of the Old Testament, and there is color significance, you will know that blue in the Old Testament symbolizes divinity. Blue symbolizes the sky and, and God's presence of, of divinity. So blue in the curtain of the curtain representing the body of Christ speaks of the divinity of Christ. Then it is purple. Does anyone know what? And Rob and I are in purple today. Does anyone know what purple represents in the Old Testament? Royalty. That Jesus is royal. He's the king of kings and the Lord of lords. How about scarlet? Scarlet represents the same thing throughout the Bible. What do you think that represents? The blood, but it also represents his humanity. Because in order to have blood, you are a human, okay? So the curtain represents Jesus is the son of God. He is divine. He is royalty. He is king of kings and lord of lords. And he is human and is going to shed his blood for the forgiveness of our sins. That curtain represents the Lord. You'll notice that it was hung on with gold hooks on how many posts? Four posts were in the temple that that curtain was hoisted on. And those four posts are very special because they're coated with gold. And gold in the Old Testament speaks of divinity as well. Do you know that there are four posts in the Bible, in the New Testament, that sh clearly show us who Jesus Christ is? Do you know what the name of those four posts are? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are the four posts given by God, inspired by the Holy Spirit. 
Think about this. What would you know about Jesus if you did not have the four Gospels? You had the rest of the Bible. I know Jesus is through every book of the Bible. I get it. There's all kinds of things. But think about what would we know about Jesus if we didn't have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Not five Gospels, not eight Gospels. You know when the, when the church was trying to figure out, there were tons of Gospels written. And the church was led, the early church, by the Holy Spirit, that these were the four golden posts. That these four Gospels, though there were 20 or 30 Gospels, that these were the Gospels that were inspired by the Holy Spirit without error, without that showed who Jesus was and everything he, from his birth to his death and all his teaching was those four gospels. And so the Bible tells us that curtain represented the body of Christ. <laughs> 